Welcome to another week of Moto USA TV. This time around, let's take a close look at some misunderstood adventure bikes, new market entries, and some equipment that can make any motorcycle into an adventure seeker. Plus, Motorcycle USA is on scene at the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca MotoGP race. The world's premier road race series only comes to the states twice a year, and we've got a full staff on hand for racing coverage, insider reports, and we've even gone so far as to line up on the grid with our own superbike to get as close to the action as possible. What's up guys, JC. I'm out here in Idaho, and we're on the BMW 800 GS and the KTM 690. And we're just dual sporting around Idaho. No two adventure riders are alike, and the same goes for their equipment. The BMW F800 GS has emerged as one of our editor's favorite and most capable all-terrain bikes. As far as Beamers go, the 800 is definitely the most dirt-worthy GS. But there are other bikes out there that are more off-road oriented. One of those, perhaps the best, is the KTM 690 Enduro R. Large dual sports versus small adventure bikes, we call them mid-sized machines. And a week-long trip across Idaho was our way of getting to know their quirks. Those two might be what you need for dirt exploration, but even they don't come standard with luggage. Any street motorcycle can be turned into a long-distance machine with the simple addition of the right bags. A new line of motorcycle luggage has hit the streets. Motocentric offers a full line of high-tech storage options for your sport bike, street bike, or cruiser. As you can see, our Ninja ZX-10 has the works. Not only do these bags offer the freedom for long distance, but there's countless times when a little storage would come in handy around town. All the components are made from 1680D Max Tura. This is super durable stuff with reflective piping to help keep you visible to other motorists. Even though the bags are soft, they have a semi-hard body construction that allows them to keep their shape when unloaded. They all come with scratch-resistant, rubberized mounting pads and a complete list of bells and whistles to make sure you can carry everything from your iPod to a hydration system. This is Motocentric's largest tank bag and it costs $80. The Motor Trek Sport Saddlebags are $120 and the Sport Tail Bag retails for $68. Find out more details and ordering information from MotorcycleSuperstore.com. It's always good to have reading material with you on the road, so one of the things that you could carry with you is the new print issue of MotorUSA.com. Our team just put the final touches on 2010's issue 4 and they decided to mix things up by offering four different covers. The special edition releases are some of the best yet, featuring Nicky Hayden and his Ducati MotoGP machine, Ben Bostrom and the Pat Clark Motorsports Yamaha, Jared Meeks on his Harley Davidson flat tracker, and Ashley Feilich became the first woman to grace our front page on a Red Bull Honda motocross bike. Inside the glossy pages are articles to support each, plus quick ride reports, product reviews, and more. One bike that does come with its own set of luggage is the brand new Yamaha Super Tenere. That's not all the new Japanese adventure touring bike has to offer, but we had to use a foreign correspondent to find out. Jane Amarogbi was among the European press invited to participate in the unveiling. The event was part of a 1,300 mile ride for life, which traveled from Lisbon, Portugal to Morocco's urban center of Marrakesh. Since the big Tenere won't be coming to the United States, we waited impatiently for her report to arrive. When it did, we were shocked. Apparently, the massive Go Anywhere bike isn't quite the BMW Slayer that we were all hoping for. Be sure to read the full report online now. You might be as surprised as we were with the findings. That does it again for this week. Once again, thanks for stopping by Moto USA TV. Now that we're through here, be sure to click through the links to the right of the player to see the articles and full-length videos. Don't hesitate to leave comments on any of our articles, photos, or videos, including this one. We'll be back next time with another episode of all the latest motorcycle tests and events. I'll see you next week.